death and insanity will always reign supreme. So, got a little special pickup today. Now, obviously, you guys can see I'm suited up. So, this is Ghostbuster related. Uh, oh, by the way, don't mind this. This is a work in progress. Doing some updates to the flux pack. And you can see it's all disassembled. And, well, we're doing some modifications, some reinforcements. Because we got something cool going on um, in the near future. So, speaking of Ghostbusters. What we have is, now last year they unveiled the Plasma Series Ghostbusters, okay? That was basically action figures by Hasbro that were done in basically as a tribute to the first movie Ghostbusters 1. We had the Fab Four in their original suits and it was also part of a Build-A-Figure collection. Uh, the Build-A-Figure was one of, the t one of the terror dogs and it was a set of six figures. So we had the original four plus we had Gozer and we had Dana Barrett. So each figure basically had a part and there was only one neutron stream one particle stream that came and that was with Winston now this time around for the second wave of plasma we have another six figures we have four of those figures today okay we have Winston Zetamore aged uh, for the new movie this is Winston as he's going to appear in Ghostbusters Afterlife We have the indomitable, indomitable Peter Venkman, of course, aged and got some accessories here, some throwbacks to the original movie. Here's a little close-up of Winston. Okay, I think these look like pretty good likenesses. And then we have two of the new characters. We have a young lady named Lucky. Okay. She's got the little remote control ghost trap we see in the trailer. There she is. I believe she's going to be the love interest of the next figure that we get, which is Trevor, who is the brother of Phoebe. He is Egon's grandson. So we have Trevor. I don't know if the last name is going to be Spangler or not, but uh, there we go. Got some accessories in this one as well. The only ones we don't have are Ray. And podcast, but there is a seven figure which is not for some reason not slated to come out until later on this year. I don't have an exact date, and that would be Phoebe, the young girl with the wire rim glasses. That obviously her appearance, her appearance evokes that of Egon, and she's the one that kind of figures a lot of things out. So, so what we have, we have four of these. We're not going to unbox all four right now. But we have some amazing art on this. And by the way, anyone who is a fan of Ghostbusters does not want to be spoiled. Um, there are some slight spoilers on the back of these. Now, very much like Hasbro, like they always do, like with Power Rangers or with uh, Marvel. <clears throat> Sometimes there's information on the packaging that gives away things, okay? Now, there is a little synops on the back here. You can see this little writing right here. Now, most of it is in multiple languages here, but underneath the name, there's a little a little brief description or a little, little, little word, maybe a sentence or two, about each of the characters, okay? Now, the two regarding Peter and Winston, they are spoilery, but they're very minor spoilers, okay? Um... I'm not going to read them to you guys right now. This is just a video kind of talking about I was able to grab these. Uh, these were actually found at local Target. People are running like crazy scooping these up as soon as they're out there, guys. So odds are by the time you get to your local Target, they may be gone. They were priced at about, I think it was $22.99, which isn't bad. It's about average. I, I know Hasbro is starting to raise the prices on some of their uh, figures and accessories, but... So, I will say, be warned, if you're a fan, if you don't want to be spoiled, but if you want to get these, just look at the front, don't look at the back, put them in a bag, and maybe you want to look at the back of the box after the movie comes out. 
that is if you don't want to have any information that gives you insights into what the Ghostbusters have been up to since Ghostbusters 2 okay so there is that I will say that much but comparing to the original boxes the original boxes were a little bit lighter so obviously they've aged the jumpsuit like design that they give us here and they give us a little bit of a we didn't have this here I don't don't recall the little hazard tape going wrapping around the side but of course we get a nice little image now this is a sentinel terror dog is the builder figure let me see if I can get a good focus on that so he's a very mean looking almost astral from the bottom almost like he's first astral is in transparent and then solidifying towards the top and he looks pretty damn mean this is not a terror dog you want to mess with this almost looks like a terror dog foot soldier so to speak uh, but and you can see that okay here's an image of the figures as they are I know it's not really good uh, representation right there but uh, there we go I mean each of the packages I mean they show us the new kids right there okay now even on Winston and Peters they don't show us the original guys they show us the four kids we see lucky we see podcasts we see Phoebe and we see Trevor very cool likenesses there and you'll see on the suits the only ones that have a name is obviously podcast put in his own little name tag a makeshift almost reminiscent of answer the calls name tags and then of course we have Spangler because she's Phoebe Spangler so it's a little telling that we don't have a name tag on the uh, on Trevor we don't have a name tag so obviously they must remove the name tag which suggests that he's not a Spangler probably takes uh, so obviously his mother is the daughter of Aegon and we don't know what their last name is so there is that also there's no leg hose on their suits at least on the two young people lucky and Trevor we do have that on obviously Peter and Winston they have their proton packs so I mean just it's just a brief brief scene up so we get some little bit of art on the side of the box we get a little bit of tech spec part of the proton pack right there I like this design it's a little bit of an upgrade from the previous one now also what's interesting is uh, we have some additional aftermarket labeling now obviously this right here is a new sticker that was placed on this box which is kind of weird because we can feel this sticker right here kind of overlapping so I'm not too sure what that's about maybe there was something spoilery or they went with some kind of legal issues so they slapped on this aftermarket decal right here so that's a little odd uh, and of course this is if you had if you got the first series of figures you should be too you shouldn't be too surprised by these but I like how the suits look a little a little weathered and I'm gonna actually do an unbox for each of these and we'll compare them but each figure comes with a proton pack Trevor has one lucky has one so that obviously at some point we know that she's going to suit up however I will say this uh, I'm not seeing a particle stream in the box for Trevor but we do see a particle stream for her but a very different particle stream here so that begs the question is her proton pack going to be an experimental pack why is hers a different color some people have theories that it's just a they when they made her character it was an earlier prototype of the particle stream it's just a coloring color variance as far as the stream goes or that could be part of a plot point we don't know so for those that like to wonder and conspiracy theorize there you go guys I mean that's something for you guys to kind of mull over and think about why does she have a pur purple electrical discharge around the particle stream itself we don't know obviously Peter and Winston's they have the regular particle stream they got their packs right there and let's take a quick look at the as far as the packs go between the kids pack and the adults pack uh, they're pretty much the same packs 
of course we got the different uh, cyclotron lights on there and that's going to be interesting to compare them with their originals and like I said I'm going to be making some videos this is just a quick view of the four figures I got my hands on I will be hunting for Ray and podcast because well I definitely want to do the build a figure guys who wouldn't so there we go just a quick little review of what we can see from the box without breaking the box open obviously each one has a special accessory we can see the little uh, ESP card that Peter used in the first movie when he was testing those college kids at Columbia lucky has the uh, RTV the remote control track that we see in the trailer Trevor he's got a bunch of accessories right here we got the little mini stay puffs and we get this Gozerian map I say it's a Gozerian map because last year um, there was a big Reebok promotion where they did multiple sneakers for Ghostbusters I bought my wife one of those sets of sneakers and it came with a map with the same designs that we see in the trailer in regards to this map that's here so that's kind of fun and cool and obviously that means that there's something very significant it has a lot of uh, Sumerian uh, glyphs writing that a lot of people have been trying to decipher it could be just a bunch of gibberish but who knows maybe it says something but uh, Winston has obviously his pack his particle stream the build a, build a figure piece and a nice throwback to the first movie the newspaper with the hope wanted ad so I'm curious as to why they're doing it are they just doing it as a nice fun Easter egg for the guys or are they doing it for another reason well elements of their past maybe have something to do with where they are now who knows maybe this is gonna be an Easter egg maybe we see this wherever because obviously it's we know at some point the original surviving Ghostbusters are going to find out that something's going on and they're going to come come to the rescue. I mean, hello, we have them aged and suited up. So why else will we have that? Maybe wherever Winston is, he kind of has that newspaper hanging up somewhere, maybe in the picture frames or something, you know? As far as Peter, maybe Peter's doing the same kind of experiments. We don't know. I have a little bit of insight because I read the back of these boxes, but... I'm not going to go into that because I'm not going to spoil you guys, okay? So there we are. I have an awesome wife. She was able to check a local Target. She found these, and we got them now. So I'm over the moon. I Would would I have loved to have all of them? Yes. Wasn't so lucky this time around. I'll find them eventually. It is what it is, guys. I mean, last year, my wife actually found the entire first wave last year all at one Target. So I lucked out there. But we'll see what happens. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how quickly shelves are restocked. Because literally, I know people who are hitting all the targets just trying to find one of the figures. And they're flying off the shelves. So, there we go. There I am. <clears throat> who are you going to call? You know. So, I want you guys to let me know what you think about the packaging on these figures. What do you think about the look of some of the guys? Hit me up in the comment section below, or better yet, you want to reach me directly, you can always message me directly on Instagram at Dave's Dimension, or email me at Dave's Dimension 78 at gmail.com. And as always, do me a favor, go in the video description below, check out our YouTube Warriors, and those are people just like you and me, who make some amazing content, you don't want to miss out on them. So until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting. And guess what, guys? I will always catch you on the flip side.